been going really well, you know. Um, eight weeks of training for a fight I have, and this fight's going really well. Um, I'm fit, I'm strong, um, I've done all my sparring, that's gone really well. And now it's just, you know, the last week away from the fight, and now it's a boring bit, you know, just waiting around for the fight. Um, but if I can get in there this week, it'll be, it'll be good. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait, I'm just going to relax, chill out, um, watch a few videos of my opponent, um, go through a technique with my coach Oliver, and I'll be ready on the night. You know, I'm very fit, very strong. Every fight I'm getting better and better. You know, I never stay the same. I'm, all, I'm always going up a level and I can see myself going up a level this time as well. I've got a lot, of, I've got a lot stronger from my last fight also. I've got um, faster, the fitness is already there, but I've got more fitter um, and I know how to handle the pace for a 12 round fight. If it does go 12 rounds, yeah. If you go to 12 rounds last time, what did you learn from that from the first time you know, I learned a lot in that fight. Um, I know I've got the fitness, that's what I learned. Um, some people say, look, if, if, I, if I'm under pressure, when I'm under pressure, if I can still keep my game plan, if I can still box. But, you know, I showed that. I showed that, look, the pressure doesn't get to me and I can go 12 rounds with a high work rate. And your opponent, Nexo Christensen, what do you know of him? What are his danger points? Well, he's a, more of a box fighter. You know, he boxes a bit, he fights a bit. Uh, he's, he's fit, he's got a high work rate. So all I have to do is get him out of his game plan, you know, use my jabs. Um, just wake him down a little bit and then if the stoppage does come, then it comes. Uh, but you know, it's going to be tough, he's going to come in strong, he doesn't want to lose that number two spot for the WBO and I want that number two spot, so it's, you know, I've always trained like a challenger and it's going to be a tough fight for me. I tell you, it is an eliminator, how important is this fight that you get through this? I have to, yeah, I have to get through this, not only just win this fight, but I have to go, get through it with good style, you know, I have to beat him clear and I have to show the crit critics and out there, I want to show all the other boxing fighters out there, look I am number one, I want to be the number one in, in, in the lightweight division and this fight is going to take me on to bigger things, it's going to take me on to the world title fights and that's the way I want to go. You're right, but you say the world title fights, when are you hoping to uh, just look in the long term? Yeah, I think this year, you know, this year is my time, this year I'm going to become a world champion, no doubt about it um, and yeah, I'm so confident about that as well. Is there anybody out there in the division that you are fearful of? Or you well, there's a few fighters out there, you know, who I'm looking at. Um, but I think that like Frank picked the fighter. Uh, but there's a few fighters who I know I can go in there and beat if I train for. So, yeah, we just have to wait and see. And at the same time, I'm getting stronger and I'm getting better and better. So, before you know it, yeah, I'll be taking all the world titles in the lightweight division. And fighting at Bolton in front of your home crowd again, how much of that is a boost, is an advantage for you? I think it's brilliant, you know, it's good for Bolton, it's good for everyone. And I, I prefer it as well, you know, I hate travelling. Uh, but it's just part of boxing, you know, you have to fight all over, uh, give my fans a chance to see me fight, but now I'm going to give my Bolton fans to see me fight uh, at home, um, hopefully it's going to be another sellout, and I'm looking forward to it. Talk about Bolton fans, I'm just quickly ask you about Bolton Wonders, uh, what do you make of them this season, and can they avoid the drop from the Premier League? Hopefully, yeah, you know, they'll, they'll beat Arsenal, um, don't want no one laughing in here, <laughs> but yeah, you know, we've got some, we've got some tough games, uh, and we've not been doing that well, but you know, I think uh, we need some luck on our side. Uh, I think we can stay up in the Premiership, yeah, definitely. And also looking at the Olympics this year for the British hopes, of course, you were one of the success stories for the yeah. Olympics. What do you think our hopes are for this year? Oh, easy. Uh, you know, we, we can come out with a couple of medals this year in the Olympic Games. I mean, seven crew, crew have qualified, whereas when I went, I was only one. And now there's a team who's coming to the Olympic Games. It's going to be it's going to be a tough tournament. Uh, but, you know, we've got some great fighters and amateurs, and I'm sure they're going to go in there and they're going to train hard for it. And before you know it, yeah, they'll bring medals back and... No, boxing's going to be on a high as well. Thanks, mate. Cheers. <coughs> okay, ready?